You might be wondering, why is he holding such a chic log of butter? Because it's mad genius. And I'm gonna show you how to make a flavored butter that will give mad genius flair to whatever it is you're cooking. We are making what is known in the pro world as a compound butter. It's basically butter that is flavored with whatever you want. In this case, we are making a cacio e pepe butter. Cacio e pepe. I'm definitely not Italian. Into a bowl, I'm adding one stick or four ounces of unsalted butter that is at room temperature. Gotta be soft for this recipe or you will be here all day. To the butter, we are adding our cacio, our cheese. I am using Pecorino Romano and to that, our pepe, our black pepper. We're adding two whole tablespoons. Even though we have a salty cheese, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of kosher salt. I love a good forearm workout, so I'm gonna take a regular everyday fork and we are going to blend all these ingredients together into a smooth paste. Okay, it is getting there. Obviously, we are making a cheese and pepper flavored butter, but you can really add anything you want. The butter is nice and smooth. You can see, whoop. Grab a sheet of parchment paper. You can also use plastic wrap. It's much easier to work with when it's cold. Spread it out on the parchment, make it a little easier to handle. Once you've got it in this sort of flat, weird looking log, then you can grab the sides of the parchment and roll it over to seal. Roll it on your cutting board and shape it into a log. Roll it up and pop this in the freezer until it's just firm. And now you're wondering, well, what am I gonna do with that? Well, you can do whatever you want with it. In this case, I am going to show you how to turn that classic Roman pasta dish, cacio e pepe, on its head. Here I have a big pot of water that I'm trying to bring to a boil. Let's get it on high heat. While that comes to a boil, we are going to chop some broccoli rabe. I had it in the crisper drawer and I wanna add some vegetables to this pasta dish. And a pound is not that much. It is going to shrink down to almost nothing. You don't have to chop it too finely, but I do like to cut it into about bite-sized pieces. Let's put this onto our plate. So I've got a big, giant pot of boiling water, nice, gigantic handful of kosher salt, and we're gonna go ahead and just add the broccoli rub right to the water, and it's gonna cook for about two minutes. Okay, the broccoli rub is bright green. It's crisp tender, and I'm going to transfer it to a colander that's set over a bowl. Ooh, look at that, steaming. And then, because we are making spaghetti, we're gonna get that in the water. I think you all know how to make spaghetti. Whoa, cut this everywhere. And all of a sudden we have modern art. And we are gonna cook this until it's al dente. Okay, the pasta is almost ready. That broccoli rabe, add it to our large mixing bowl. So traditionally, you would add your hot pasta right into a slurry of pasta water and cheese and black pepper. We are going to use that mad genius cacio e pepe butter. And I'm gonna have all of you coming for me. I know it, you're gonna be going into my DMs. Let me know what you think and I am ready for it. You're gonna use this on everything from boiled or roasted Brussels sprouts to sourdough toast. Yum. Pasta's ready. Ah, big tongs into your giant bowl. Turn off the heat and before we go in with our butter, we're just gonna go ahead and toss around the broccoli rabe so it gets sort of mixed. Time for our cacio e pepe butter, speckled with black pepper. And this is where you grab your handy dandy box grater. You just shred it right on top of the pasta. And we are gonna toss this vigorously to get a little silkiness. <laughs> big bowl of definitely not traditional cacio e pepe, a long, big bite of spaghetti. I definitely taste the cacio. I definitely taste the pepe. Obviously, this is not the classic way of making this classic pasta dish, but it is mad genius. You can cacio e pepe your vegetables, your popcorn, your face, no. Not your face, but really you can add it to a ton of different things and everything will have a little kiss of Italy. <laughs> Is that dorky? Shake it real me now for it.